بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My today's vlog topic is very important and it is based on some question which I was asked in last two weeks so I said okay I want to combine these questions and make a comprehensive vlog so the topic of my vlog is problem issues and difficulties in our life and how we can resolve and how we can overcome them and before I talk further if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon so that whenever new uh, video is uploaded you may be notified Jazakallah khair. so I often get message and these messages are from the different walks of the life from the different age group from the people either they are parents or kids when I when I'm talking about kids in this vlog it means 18 and above male and female spouse friends you know and community member they have complained with against each other they have issues with each other and they have disagreement with each other so they send me questions lately there was a and there was a sister she sent me a uh, send me a question there were actually two sisters who sent me education one from the local and one from out of the city they said they had issue with their parents where the parents were forcing them to marry someone which they didn't agree and sometimes the husband and wife they had issues and parents they say they complain about the attitude of their kids believe me these are real-time issues and everyone thinks everyone thinks that this is they they are the most miserable person on the face of the earth one sister she came and she 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 said that she needs divorce from from her husband means they were their their relationship was that much sore so you know all these things you know their husband and wife fight so i said that you are because you are not looking at the bigger picture you know only your issues that's why you think that your problem is the biggest one and you are the most miserable person but actually everyone in our society have some sort of problem issues and difficulty if somebody has a smiley face it does not mean that he or she does not have any problem somebody is rich and living uh, he has a big job it does not mean that they do not have a problem problem whether he's religious or not religious rich or not rich poor or whatever everyone has different sort of problem even imam they have problem so do not think that anybody is immune from the problems and difficulties. When I say problem, it does not mean only problem. It could be difficulties and issues. So just check whenever I say the word problem or difficulty, it means I'm just combining them all in one word, problem, difficulties and issues. This is one word. So whenever we see any problem, just imagine the life of the Prophet ﷺ that how difficult was his life. He faced hard criticism he faced physical torture from his own people he faced his, his his three sons died right in front of his eyes and when they were quite young and then his three daughters his two daughters they got divorced right in front of his eyes and three daughters except Hazrat Fatima they died in his lifetime and his Fatima Radilana she also died six months after his death but he knew it that his same beloved daughter is gonna die very soon so all these were and he was kept captive in Shabi Abi Talib for three year and you know he had he was forced to leave his own town Makkah where he was born and raised he left and he migrated to Medina so we could imagine the problems and issue even I can uh, Hazrat Ali Radilana Hazrat Fatima Radilana Ali Radilana and Hazrat Fatima Radilana they had some issues once the Prophet ﷺ came and he asked that uh, where is Ali? Fatima said well there was some disagreement and he is in a masjid. He, he, is, he went outside. So Prophet ﷺ sent somebody to check where Ali is. So they said okay. They, they came and they came to Prophet ﷺ and he said that Ali is in a masjid. He's, then Prophet ﷺ he went in a masjid himself as a father. He did not say okay call Ali. And he said that uh, he saw that Hadrat Ali was laying in a masjid and uh, you know like uh, on the ground the Prophet ﷺ, he asked Abu Tarab and oh Abu Tarab wake up get up and then he brought home and then he he uh, put uh, Hadrat Fatima on one hand and Ali 
on one on one hand and then you know he hugged him like this way so this shows the love and kindness and the resolution of the problem that the problems are there they do exist and we need to resolve these problems so abu hadrat ali radhiyallahu said that after that time you know he loved that kunya previously he used to be called abu hasan but after that one you know like the people they call him abu tarab and he was he was so much happy and delighted because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave him name so like this so these sisters and brothers they ask me duas so i give them duas and i say that you can the one sister she said that she is going through some financial issues some problems and can 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 i tell her some dua and i ask her to recite surah wad duha and surah wat tariq and do, uh, recite this dua rabbi anni maghloob fantasir o oh allah i'm over overpowered oh allah help me so there is a dua there is a dua hasbun allah wa ni'mal wakil then we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that 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 he is sufficient for us he is the disposer of the affairs and all these things and then we there is another dua rabbana zalamna anfusana wa lam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lakunanna lanakunanna minal khasirin rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina azaban nar rabbana there are so many duas in quran and so many duas are from the book of al hadith so we can recite these duas but today my topic which i want to discuss briefly is about the strategy whenever any problem comes number one whenever any problem comes to you and if anybody hatches a plan or against hatches a plan against you and make conspiracy against you do not do tit for tat take the ownership of that problem so, okay this problem is there this problem is on me now i'm the owner of this problem i have to take care of this problem like i'm a businessman so if if i have some deficiency or if i have some issues with my business so i take the ownership of that problem and i said okay i'm going to resolve this thing so so we should take the take the full responsibility of that problem not responsibility in a sense that i'm the cause of this problem no this is a challenge that has come to me and i take the responsibility and i will resolve that one instead of putting on to the other people's shoulder and start blaming the other people no the problem is there for me that's it i'm going to resolve that one and number 2 whenever any difficulty whenever any problem comes rely on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the, one of the ways that all these things are coming all these things whatever we are facing difficulties hardship problem and these are from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say allah zina sabaru ala rabbihim yatawakkalun who have been patient and upon their allah they rely these things they they these things are coming from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one more thing which i want to tell you that all these problems allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us as a test or issues as a test allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give us more than we could bear this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah bismillahir rahmanir rahim la yukallifu allah nafsan illa wusaha that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give anyone more than one could bear and you know face so this and these things you know like this whatever the problems are coming definitely that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we will test you we will we will test you and all these problem wala nablu annakum bi shay'in min al khawfi wal ju'i wa naqs min al amwal wal anfus wa samarat wa bashir sabirin that all these problems are coming like suppose somebody is hungry somebody's loved one is dead somebody's you know has a fear that somebody would take away his wealth somebody would take away his belonging somebody would take away his kids and all these things there are different fears there are different type of hungers there are poverty some richness sometimes allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us wealth and all these things these are tests from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have to believe in it and then when we believe in it these challenges which are coming to us we will say allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put us in a test and he would take us out of these tests but it does not mean that we give up our struggle we have to continue our struggle we have to uh, work beside reliance in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to work because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that that we have to strive that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change the condition of those people who do not want to change themselves this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in quran so we have to work towards the solution and then the third one is that one when the problem comes to me what should be my attitude i should be problem solver yes when problem comes to me i should try to solve the problem logically not emotionally with reason that this is this is a problem the prophet there is an example i'm giving you an example uh, there is an example from prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam life that when he heard that the kuffar 
are going or they are planning they are hatching a plan to again uh, hatching a plan against muslim and they are going to attack madina so what prophet sallallahu said he called all muhajirin and ansar of madina and all our lies and then he told them look this is what is happening you know these kuffars are coming and they are going to attack us what we should do it what should be our attitude what should be our behavior and how we can you know tackle the situation so and then that, that was a logical step so whenever and what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did he could have said okay yes these kuffars are coming okay that's it we are going to do this thing. no he called the council so whenever you have any problem so just go to the learned person whom you think that he could best advise you or could guide you or help you suppose if i have my financial problem financial issues i'm not going to any tom dick and harry rather i will go to financial advisor if i have some uh, issues with the family issues definitely i will try to seek help those who are expert in family matters and those who are trustworthy similarly if i have a some religious issues i will consult with the religious scholar and those who know it does not necessarily mean that every religious scholar is you know well versed in everything some people some religious scholars are well versed and expert in certain things some are expert in other things so i have to differentiate i have to find out that who could help me and sometimes it happens that some person who is very well versed in the in religious affair but he is not a religious scholar so there is no harm big going to him first of all that everyone should be well versed in the religious matter i should know what's wrong what's right what's halal what's haram what's happening around me and all these things these things because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this religion islam is not created for only religious scholars this is for every muslim to know and to find out all these things we should be well versed we we know so many useless things of this dunya which are not related even to our lives or our subject matters and you know so on but we still know about that one so why don't we study about our religion and get more knowledge about it definitely for fatawa when we have to get some religious injunction we should not adopt our own thing you know like view rather we should go to some mufti and get his religious injunction that anyway apart from that one so get like this uh, another example coming into my mind that was the battle of ditch when the ghuzwa khandaq happened prophet alayhi salatu was salam you know he asked sahaba how we can protect the madina then hazrat salman farsi radhiyallahu he said ya rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam in faris whenever such a situation would come they would dig a ditch around the city so why don't we do this thing prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam liked that idea and they they dug a ditch over there to protect the city from the attack of the kuffar so alhamdulillah so we should get the advice from some learned people and this is what we have to do for the problem solving thing and the next thing is that one which we have to do it that zoom out for a moment and view a bigger picture because my problem is one small puzzle piece i think that that's a problem that's it no but actually we are part of a big picture so when i zoom out when i zoom and then i say oh yes my problem is very tiny thing then i can understand the complete picture and i can and i can resolve my issues otherwise i will be you know the overwhelmed and i will be just under the burden of only my problem my problem my problem this is what i would be thinking and i can't resolve the problem so i have to you know think about it as a bigger picture and then when the problem comes then all these things i'm taking all these steps then i say be patient you know be patient when the problem is there i should not be emotional i should not react violently so i should think about it rely trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and see is a bigger picture of that one and then i said okay now i'm patient and i'm going to resolve the problem because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah in 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 in, in quran bismillah rahman rahim ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu astainu bis sabri was salat inna allaha ma'as sabirin o believers be patient and seek allah's help with salat definitely for sure allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those those who are patient ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sabiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa taqullaha la'allakum tuflihun o you who believe preserve and endure and remain station and fear allah and fear allah that you may be successful that so 
when we say fear Allah, it means that I, when I'm resolving this problem, I'm not going to adopt any negative means, any negative. I will not go by, I will not play any foul tricks or foul play. I will always adopt the positive way to resolve this issue. I'm not going to blame anyone. Rather, I'm taking the full responsibility of this difficulty which I'm going through and I'm going to resolve this thing with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is another uh, there is another ayah of Surah Luqman, which ayah number 17. So Hazrat Luqman alayhi salam, he is telling his son, Ya Bunaya, Akimu Salata, Ya Bunaya, sorry. Ya Bunaya, Akimu Salata, Amr ibn Maruf, Annahu an al Munkar, Wasbir Alama Asabuka, Inna Zalika fi Azmil Amur. Then he is telling, Oh my son, and this is from the Sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam too. You know, and this is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is, this is in Quran, which is coming to us that establish your prayer. Whenever you have any problem, <coughs> sorry. Whenever you have any problems, just go towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Establish prayers. But it does not mean that I don't adopt the means. The, I must adopt the means, but I should, I should never have trust on these means. Prophet ﷺ, whenever the battle happened, Battle of Badr, what was the behavior of Prophet ﷺ? He gathered the army first and then he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So tie your camel first and then make dua. There was a thunderstorm other day as, and if I say, okay, I'm going out and I just, uh, without any protection, the people will say he's a stupid, he's a fool, there's a rain. There's a thunderstorm, there's hailing, and he's going out without any proper arrangement. No, if there's an electric socket, if I put my hand in that, uh, in plug, the people will call me stupid. Go on, come on, I, I should take all these measures. And if I say there's a poison in my hand, and I say, Bismillah rahman rahim and I drink the poison, and that Allah will protect me. No, Allah is not going to protect me. There are some stories about Hazrat Khalid bin Walid that, that the heat, he did bismillah and then he took the poison and then look at that one so these all these uh, stories are fabricated stories there is because there is against the practices of islam islam does not teach us islam says take all precautions suppose if i have any issues financial issues i will uh, take consultation from the financial advisor if i have family then i will go to family council or some people who are those who are expert if i have religious question and doubt I will go to the religious authorities that this is come back to this ayah as the Luqman is saying that do the good deed and then uh, uh, avoid enjoying the right and forbid the wrong and then be patient and definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know like he is in charge of every matter and he will help us so all these things so worse after worse ayah after ayah are encouraging us to to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be patient. So, so now again, definitely we should make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any matter whenever we come across any difficulties. But after that one, just adopt the means and never trust on th those means. And then do these things. Whenever the problem comes, take the ownership of the problem and then rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the most powerful and become the problem solver and then zoom out and view the big picture so that you could understand the problem and you could resolve the problem properly and then be patient and you will win victory will be with you sometime it takes longer time sometimes it takes less time but definitely if we have complete trust and confidence in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trust in our strength which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and i have adopted all the means allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will for sure help us sooner or later this is what the belief of every Muslim should be. At the end, I make dua for everyone. Those who send me letters and questions and ask questions that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them. And, you know, resolve their problems in a positive way. And if there is any shur, remove the shur and put khair in, in their affairs, in their matters. And I advise every adult, every parent that be kind to their children. Their children are grown up children, 18s and above. Listen to them, you know, have some dialogue and communicate with them. Do not enforce our will and our wishes and our culture because we are living now in a different culture and a different society. Yes, we have to create our Islamic culture in Islamic environment so that we could, you know, resolve our issues and problems Islamically not un-Islamically and I respect and I encourage 
our youngster to have a respect uh, you know to respect their parents and spouse to have a relationship positive relationship with each other and try uh, to understand each other you know the life is not bad of roses there are ups and downs there are so many compromises which we have to make it if we are not compromised then if we are not flexible then we will be broken so we have to mend we have to be united may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our du'as and help us to understand each other and help us to resolve our problems, issues and difficulties. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.